intermediate class is today. We're going to have a look at blah blah. Ni iku, iku. You know to go. Ni as a particle, destination, right? Blah blah. Ni iku. This grammar. Well, to do something, you um, go to go somewhere to do something for something for the purpose of something. In this context, so for example, go shopping or go to shop, go for shopping. So in these kind of grammar, um, how do we say this? How do we um, instruct the uh, the sentences and stuff? Here we go. Here we go. Boom. Right. Basically, the structure is you put where the destination, the this the place or uh, a. Uh, or the direction or whatever, just where to. And then the particle ni or e. Ni or e, that's the same, right? Uh, usually we use ni. Uh, e, written as he, pronunciation e. That's um, slightly written Japanese or formal Japanese. But when you want to make, um, uh, what is it called? When you don't want to just you know, keep saying ni, ni, ni. Maybe you can just you know for change you can change to the uh, e, but in, in just you know just the same meaning. So destination and the place and then purpose plus verb, and then you put this particle ni, and then iku. For example, iku, iku. Uh, let's start um, by looking at this example. What are you going to Japan? What are you going to Japan for? What are you going to Japan for? Meaning, to do what are you going to Japan? So the purpose you want to ask. Um, I could imagine that you know you meet somebody here um, from your country to Japan. Maybe some you see many people. So you're going to Japan for what? Like for sightseeing or to study or something. So when you want to ask the purpose to do something, for example, in this, like to go to Japan. What is that for? What are you going to do this for? Well, we can have a look first at Are you going to Japan? How do we say this in Japanese? Well, in Japanese, there is no difference between grammatically. There is no difference between the yeah, the present tense and future tense. Uh, to Japan, Nihon ni, or as mentioned, Nihon e. You can say that. Ikimasu ka? Ikimasu ka? Nihon ni ikimasu ka? So do you go to Japan? It's the same grammatically, the same. Are you going to Japan? Will you go to Japan? Uh, do you have plan to go to Japan? That's the same. Nihon ni ikimasu ka? Nihon ni ikimasu ka? Well, here in this sentence, we want to put this purpose meaning. What are you going to Japan for? How do we do this? So into this sentence, Nihon ni ikimasu ka? You insert nani wo shi ni. Nani wo shi ni? Nani wo shi ni? Nani is what, right? Wo shi ni. Wo as a particle. Shi, where does it come from? Ni, that's a particle. Nani wo shi ni? Ikimasu ka? Or we have a look closer here later. Like, nani wo shi ni, this part. But okay, here we have a look at the, uh, the word order. Mm, just to refresh your memory. Well, in Japanese, as long as you put the at the, the right particle uh, following the, the word, you can you know move around. Nani wo shi ni nihon e ikimasu ka? Nihon ni ikimasu ka? Nani wo shi ni? You can just you know, play, replace them as long as you have the right uh, particle. Uh, so, nihon ni nani wo shi ni ikimasu ka? Nani wo shi nihon e ikimasu ka? That's the same. So, that's it. Uh, and then when you're in Japan, maybe people might want to ask you. So you're in Japan. What did you come here for? To do what? Did you come to Japan? How would they say this? Or when you're in Japan and you want to ask your friend or you somebody new, how do we uh, do this? Well, um, we just had a look at the example using iku earlier. This while again. This time, come, kuru. 
So these words, others, other than iku and kuru, you can think of kaeru, to return, to be back, to go home, modoru, to be back, it's the same. Um, well, what the, the point is here is the movement, the verbs that describe movement from A place to B place, uh, people move to accomplish some purpose, right? So, uh, iku as an example, we put in the title, but you can use these uh, movement verbs to use this grammar, which is actually very often used in Japan or like in Japanese or like in daily conversations, right? You talk about like, hey, uh, what did you, uh, did you come here to do this and, stuff, and to return somewhere? Like, you, know, you always move around. So, did you come to Japan? Let's start with this one. Past tense. You have learned this. Second graders. Did you come to Japan? Nihon ni kimashita ka. Kuru as a dictionary form. Kimasu, mass form. Long form. Eh, platform. Kimashita. Past tense. Kimashita ka, right? And here, we want to put the purpose meaning. What did you come to Japan for? Nihon ni kimashita ka. And then you insert. This will make this sentence as What did you come to Japan for? To do what did you come to Japan? I mean, this is not why, like in a direct why, but you just want to ask the purpose. Very like mildly. <laughs> I mean, this is not just a question at the police or something. You don't need to directly ask like why. Say, hey, what, what, what made you come to Japan? What did you come to Japan for? Nihon ni nani wo shi ni kimashita ka? Or again, uh, placing uh, uh, words. Mm, that's not the big problem. So you can also say nani wo shi ni nihon e kimashita ka? Nihon e nani wo shi ni kimashita ka? Nihon e kimashita ka nani wo shi ni? Or something like that. Right. Uh, when you answer, when you react. Well, I'm going to Japan to study Japanese. I'm going to study two study Japanese. So this is the purpose. This is the purpose. So how do we say this? We start with the, the place of the, uh, the destination, Nihon ni or Nihon e, and an object to study Japanese. This time Japanese is object. So you place Nihon go wo. And then to study, Benkyo suru is the dictionary form. Uh, and then you think of mass form. Benkyo shimasu. Shimasu. Benkyo shimasen. Benkyo shimasu. That is mass form. And then you remove mass. And then put ni plus movement verbs. Here we go. Nihon ni nihongo benkyo shi ni ikimasu. That's what we mean. I'm going to Japan to study Japanese. That's a purpose indicated here. So um, that's the basic rules to make uh, to go somewhere to do something, to come somewhere to do something and stuff like that. So think of mass form. So we have worked on te form and te iru and lots of different grammar, but here we get back to the classical, the basic mass form. And then you just remove them. Uh, when you have a look at the, uh, Mass form. Ru verbs, miru, mimas, taberu, tabemas, uva, hanas, hanashimas, namu, nomimas. Irregular verbs, kuru, kimas, suru, shimas. Right. So when you want to say eh, to do something, eh, to go somewhere, to do something, miru, mi, ni, ikimas. Taberu, tabe, ni, ikimas. Mas dropped plus ni, iku. Mini ikimas. Tabe ni ikimas. Hanashi ni ikimas. No mi ni ikimas. Kimas. I mean, we're just talking about to come, like come to some uh, destination to come. So it doesn't make sense. So just dropped. Suru shi ni ikimas. Benkyo suru. Ryori suru. Ryori shi ni ikimas. So just drop mas. And then uh, put. And that's it. Right. Well, um, when you want to say, like, go for studying, go for shopping, like a noun, like um, 
instead of like a direct verb to go to study or to go to study or uh, to to shop or something instead of verb when you put studying as a noun in japanese that will be also changed nihon ni nihongo benkyo shi ni ikimasu how do we change this benkyo ni ikimasu you just drop shi part suru part the verb part you drop it but you have to be careful here because you have to make the whole noun so nihon ni ben nihongo wo it's a bit weird. So, Nihongo no benkyo, the whole uh, the group of the, the nouns should be noun. So, the starting of Japanese, and then it'll make sense. So, Nihon ni Nihongo no benkyo ni ikimasu, that would be uh, I'm going to Japan for uh, Japanese study or Japanese studying as a noun. So, both can be said Nihongo benkyo shi ni ikimasu. Nihon ni Nihongo no benkyo ni ikimasu. Both are correct. Well, uh, you could also say a, a different form. Here, tameni. Tameni. That means also to uh, and purpose, to do something. But the difference here between benkyo shi ni ikimasu, benkyo suru tameni ikimasu, benkyo no tameni ikimasu. That's just the difference between importance. I mean, this can be very um, subjective. You can just decide how important it is. So um, if you think this is slightly or relatively important purpose, you can say tameni. tameni. You, when you can emphasize, when you want to emphasize, this is the purpose. This is important purpose to do some, to go there, to come there, to uh, return there and stuff. So otherwise, uh, when you say, for example, benkyo shi ni ikimasu, it's just a ca uh, not casual, but just in a statement that, okay, that's what you're going to do there. That's what um, will be accomplished in that place. But when you have the very important purpose, you can distinguish by saying benkyo suru tameni. As in verb, when you use verb, uh, suru, um, the dictionary form again, you don't uh, remove mas here. So dictionary form, you have to stick to it. Benkyo suru tameni. Or when you want to use a noun for studying, which uh, you think important. Benkyo no tameni. You use no plus tameni. And that's it. So hopefully you can use this one uh, to uh, specify the uh, the the action or the movement and stuff in the daily conversations right thank you for watching otsukare sama deshita if you want to practice japanese with us and meet your new classmates you're more than welcome to join us okaeri school